Hello everyone, I'm Chesslick44, also known as Falai, and welcome to this Let's Play of Ixion. Last episode, we activated the new Ixion drive, and with it, we have traveled to a new system. I can't quite read what that is. Immortan, I believe this star is. I don't know where it is. And there appears to be space weather, which is a little concerning, but we're trying to find what we can. We've already found a small source of iron and carbon, and we're working on probing what we can. As we get more probes out, we'll learn more, and hopefully things will go well. Alright, you guys are out of carbon, so not going to be able to build much more, but that's at least something. Conditions are optimal, conditions are optimal, we're... and we're working on getting more people out. And we've got more people homeless. Of course we do. This is what worried me. This will take more resources, which we don't really have to spare. On the plus side, we've just about got enough. A new request awaits your attention. Does it? The probe has completed its scan for a new point of interest. Parenti 85. The Faraday is going to go there immediately and get access to more science. But what do we have here? Uh, Sector 1 has 300 cryonic pods in storage. Tycoon will need as many crew members as possible. Pledge to awaken 100 cryonic pods. We will address this in time. No, yeah, we'll address this in time. Don't worry, I'm working on it. We had to hold back because we needed the food and... Uh, we're low on food. We're gonna need to do what we can in order to supply the food. But I'm trying. Okay. And I know we're low on resources, but I'm trying to gather more. All right, we've got more going in. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, that's good. What do we have here? Sheltered by the installed infrastructure, the Thales team carefully studied the anomaly. Several theories on geysers and precipitation phenomena have been established, providing valuable mission data. 60 science! That's beautiful! Team will board the Thales and leave, not before gathering up all that science. As for you... Requires technology deep dive apparatus. Several sensors have recorded contradictory readings relating to the Coriolis effect on Parenti 85. We do not have the necessary equipment to perform operations on gaseous planets. We'll need to research deep dive apparatus to get that. Alright, what have we got here? Crew members are worried about the number of hazards we are coming across in space that were previously unknown to us. They would like reassurance that exploration of the Immortan system will be conducted safely. Promise that no member of a science te ship team will die in the Immortal Immortan system. Promise that science ship team casualties will not rise above five while in the system, or I promise nothing. They will not rise above five. I would not be surprised if something happened while we're here. Alright, we've still got repairs going on. So that's at least staying good. Come on, build those so we can get more out. Oh, that's a lot of people. Okay, that's a lot of people on it currently not housed. I am working on it. No more resources available to mine. Okay, noted. We've gotten all the science we can there. We can research something else. Good. Um. Food. No, not food. Um. Not cryonics. I didn't want that. That's not what I want. Not the stockpile. Crew quarters! Optimized quarter will be able to store so much more- so many more people. Go on that. And we can actually send out another probe. Do so. Okay, major thing here. Send out the probe. Let's see what's there.
Don't worry, we're gonna have more people soon. More, uh, space for more people soon. Alright, we've got Dog0202. Alright. Faraday, go investigate. And building is constructed. And all science has been repaired, retrieved from the first area. A science ship has arrived at its destination. All right, we've got a science ship here. Let's see what we've got. Our probe has detected a distress signal near the asteroid DOG0202. We've reached the asteroid. The mining ship Sheptel was adrift nearby. It appears to have been pierced by a fast-moving object, killing its operator instantly. External markings indicate the Sheptel was a mining craft of the Protagoras. The Faraday's team will extract navigation data from the mining ship to help determine the current location of the Protagoras. Go for it. We've got another probe. Let's send it somewhere. We've got more source of carbon and iron. Go ahead, send it over. And there we go. We've got optimized quarters. That requires a lot. But if we build it, it basically stores up 10 more people. Thing is, it costs 40 which is more than the 15. That's a little concerning, but okay. At the very least, finish building that. We need to carry, have more space for more of these people. Oh, we can get another tech. Uh... Crop farms, mushroom walls... We can't make a colonization chamber yet. A fusion station would get turn ice into water and store it. That would be nice. Fire station would probably be handy. Provides minus t prestige stability. Unlocks the ability to apply policies within a sector to temporarily address ongoing crises and track sector specializations. I feel like we need this. Yeah, that's minimal quality ha accommodation. I don't like that, despite being a lot of housing. What else can we do? Actually, okay, we've got that. That's fine. Science ship, we can get a deep dive apparatus. We'll get a deep dive apparatus, so we'll be able to explore that. A oh, that is a lot. Okay, once we got a new probe, we'll get it out. But we'll get it. We've got a lot of resources here. That's that's very nice. Okay, we're keeping our hull integrity up. That's that's good. Well, we were trying to. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, what have we got here? After clearing away the scattered remnants of the Sheptil's operator, the Faraday's crew was able to retrieve navigation data from the ship's onboard computer. Two electronics and 627 iron. Okay. Determine the cause of the destruction. The Faraday's team will try to learn more about what caused the Sheptil's destruction. Go for it. Come on, I need to stop, stop sending people out. For now. Come on, finish up the construction here. Jeez, this is taking a lot. Has occurred in the tycoon. 
Okay, this was... The workshop. Okay, that's, that's a minor issue. That's fine. And there we go. Okay. That'll be able to finish that. You know, I take it back. Cancel that. Dismantle the dismantle that building and cancel that one. We'll build the better one. Do we have a lot of homeless? Yes. But we'll handle that very soon. Keep casualties to a minimum while exploring the the Immortan system. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay, what did you find here? The Sheptil was intentionally hit by a projectile. Intentionally? After careful investigation, the Faraday's team recovered fragments of a shell bearing the emblem of the UN and the word Etemenanki. That's concerning. Gather up what resources you can. Oh, right, another probe. All right, let's see. Oh, that's water and hydrogen. Oh, we've got something. There we go. Send it out. All right. Oh, we've got enough. Uh, I forgot. I was going to build this. There. We've got plenty here. We can build another one of these. Food production is not great. I'm going to need to build another source of food or we're going to run out. Or research and improvement. Okay, all science has been retrieved. Uh... Crop farm would be useful. But I can't really do it right now. Is there anything else I can do? I can't do this yet. Erg. Fusion station would turn ice into water. We'll need to up we'll need to open up another uh another section very soon. But let me see about getting a DLS center and see what we can do about specialization. You... Your storage is full. That's fine. That's fine. Probe has discovered a new point of interest. So what have we got? Plymouth 37. Alright. Fails. Head out there and investigate. Got another probe. There, we've got something. See what you can find. An accident has occurred in the sector one. Fifth. Were injured in the tech lab? Holy crap! That's a lot! On the plus side, this construction is almost done. Okay, there we go. Now, I can slowly but surely replace these. Right, dismantle these two buildings. By dismantling them, we'll be able to put in a better building. Oh, what? What information do we have? What's going on here? A group of crew members are complaining about the high levels of smoke and noise in Sector 2. The well-being of the crew is a condition for mission success and must be balanced against maintaining efficient industrial production. Pledge to shut down factories in Sector 2 for 10 cycles or we can't afford to stop production. Ten cycles! I can't afford that. I'm sorry. We need 
10 cycles worth of Reese of uh, alloys. It's the others that's a, that's fine, but we can't lose that. Fargo 39. All right, Faraday, you're not doing anything. Head on over there. Oh, wait, we got another probe out. Launch it out. Another source of carbon. There's something... Something around here. That's a source of iron, which is nice. Oh, oh, oh. Got it. Send it. Let's get what we can. Plymouth 37. What have we got here? We have something going on. Let's see. Our probe has detected the presence of cavities beneath the planet's surface. The readings we're picking up from these chambers are similar to those from strong nuclear reactions. We have landed on Plymouth 37. The opaque atmosphere lets in hardly any light. Geological formations on the planet's surface resemble giant emerald waves frozen in time. We've set up near the location of one of the cavities. Uh, explosive, temporary, or infrastructure. Which is the same thing. 40 alloys. As we were preparing for takeoff, we spotted a geological formation that appears to house some sort of cave dwelling. We're requesting permission to investigate the site. Will it search the geological formation for evidence of habitation? Oh, I didn't realize that I just completely screwed that over. If I reload, can I go back to this? Oh, that's... I screwed up! I didn't... I thought I'd be able to come back. Crap. I think I just lost out on a load of science. I wish I had the opportunity to back out. We're getting a load of alloys now, though. Which is good. Oh, actually, I had taken up those alloys. So use up those alloys, build another structure. So what did you find? After approaching the supposed location of the troglodyte dwellings, they were revealed to be nothing more than optical illusion. This effect was caused by the light filtering through the thick fog of Plymouth 37's atmosphere. Shit! I lost out on a load of science! I thought... Ah! I thought I'd be able to come back! That's wrong. That's not right. Alright, Fargo 39. What have you got? Uh, let's see. Probe scans have picked up an emergency message broadcasting on a Dolos frequency. However, the transmission protocol is different to the one used by the Tycoon and its auxiliary craft. A window of opportunity appears to be opening. A temporary cessation of the high winds of Fargo 39 has given us a clear zone in which to operate. We took advantage of the drop in wind speed to descend and land on Fargo 39. The gravity is intense and several of our measuring instruments have failed. Despite the extremely hostile environment, we're preparing to make a si sortie to the signal location. Deploy the crew in reinforced exoskeletons. Sadly, we can't. A small team of specialists. The Faraday's team will be split in two. A team of specialists, equipped with standard-issue hazard gear, will proceed toward the signal's origin, while the rest of the crew direct them from the Faraday's cockpit. Or... Equipped with standard issue hazard gear, an experienced scout. A veteran pathfinder will be sent to scout the signal to locate the signal's origin while the crew guide them from the Faraday's cockpit. Let's send a small team of specialists. That seems a good mid-ground, dangerous as this is. Alright, and the Thales is not doing anything. Okay, I think we'll be able to take care of Parenti. We do have another probe available. Okay, that's water in that. Is there any... Oh, oh, oh no, that's, that's just going to that again. There is something in there. We just can't get to it. Will we be able to get anything up here? Possibly. There's something high... There's something way up there. Go and take a look.
probe has completed its scan. What did we find? Valiant 71. Okay. I'm still pissed off that I lost out on all that, uh, on all that potential science. Okay, open that up, start bringing more people out. This had construction finished, and that's neutral, so that's fine. Alright, now. Actually, turn that off for now. Destroy this crew quarters, and this crew quarters. Oh! The DLS center has been built. Unlocks the ability to apply policies within a sector. That's something we'll work on. Very soon. Has I'll handle you in a moment. Finish that so we can build another structure. There we go. I'm gonna replace all of those. Now, what have we got here? We've arrived at the source of the signal transmission. Upon approach, one of the specialists was swept away by a violent dust storm. We eventually found a cargo ship of an unknown class that bears a resemblance to the ones we use on the Tycoon. It is embedded within the rock face below a large promontory. The high winds are making its balance unstable. The cargo ship is in bad shape and the rough winds are not helping the situation. Minimalizing risk, entrance and exit of the ship will be made as quickly as possible. Recover archived digital data from the cargo ship and return to the Faraday. Alright. We have one missing crew. We lost someone. We're gonna do what we can to not. Alright, now that you're here. Good. This is a crew of the Thales. We've entered Parenti 85's atmosphere. Equipment has been deployed, but the gravity of the planet may complicate our operations. Visibility is nil. Atmosphere corrosive factors are negligible. Release microprobes. By releasing millions of microprobes into the strongest of Parenti 85's jet streams, we can learn more about the meteorological system's presence on gaseous planets. Establish a weather station. The Thales team will set up a small temporary station allowing them to carry out meteorological ad analysis. Additional resources will be required, which can be brought by cargo ship. Once the survey has been completed, the team will transmit results and leave the station. Or advanced infrastructure. Setting up infrastructure capable of supporting meteorological analysis and simulation will allow the Thales team to better understand the gaseous formations present in Parenti 85's atmosphere. Despite being a time-consuming approach, the team will analyze a large amount of data with the help of a dedicated PA. That would get us a large amount of tech. That would get us a small amount, and that's a medium amount. Ugh, we need the resources. Stick with a regular weather station. Send the cornucopia. Neocon protocols oh. have identified a new planet suitable for really? a colonization test program. Has it now? Tutorial colonists. Colonists are non-workers that have been trained in the colonization training center. Colonists are crucial for colonization events. The number of colonists within the tycoon is shown by hovering the mouse over the population icon at the top of the screen. You can transport colonists to a destination using a cargo ship. They're represented by the population icon. Okay. This is a big find. Deville 59. That's what we need. Okay. This one is going to go investigate that. Soon. We need to do more research. I keep forgetting about this. Uh... Research the crop farm. Okay, that took up all of the resources we had, but we're slowly getting more so that we'll get more people housed. We're gonna need to open up another one of these so that we can get more. We just need a lot of resources for this, and we barely have it. 
Right, get that built. A science ship team has completed a task. All right, what have we got here? During the return of the Faraday, a strong wind swept away a crew member not following Dolo's safety protocols. The rest of the crew have returned with mission data. Son of a bitch! <sighs> not quite what I wanted. All right, Faraday. Return back to the Tycoon, get more people. We'll get more people built. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. What do we have here? Those who suffer from dead earth sickness experience an intense nostalgic melancholy. According to Munchie Care Protocols, forms of escapism could aid affected crew members. Sector 1 would benefit from an alternative life center. Build one within 10 cycles. We can build one. Not exactly the best, but... You know, I could actually build it here. That's actually a better location. Cancel that. It's not ideal, we're gonna have less people, but if we build it there... We are running low on food. We need more. We need to get food fast. Do we have food supplies here? We can make food supplies. Much as I didn't want to do this, I have to. All right, so remove this and build an alternative life center. Holy crap, that requires so much. Oh, we need a lot for this. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Docking bay? Okay, that's fine. We can deal with this. Okay, what have we got here? Meteorological analysis allowed our team to establish new theories about the weather patterns on Parenti 85. The team also developed a number of working models that demonstrate the impact of electromagnetic fields on centripetal forces under the influence of self-similar particles. All right. No, not the Faraday, the Thales. You can go here. This is apparently... After analyzing scans, Eden did not detect any readings of note on the surface. But we can still investigate. Oh, wait, no! Don't investigate! Thales, gather up the rest of that. And new tech is unlocked. Alright, gather up the science. We do have a crop farm now. Which will take water. This was the wrong thing to research. We need a way to make water before we can build before we can build it. So get researching on a fusion station. We don't really have much of a choice. Alright, get all the food you can. We still got another five turns in order to get through this. And we're losing hull integrity a bit. Retrieved all science. Okay, I know about that. Go, 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 go. Fails. Head to DeVille 59. We'll get more science. 
Hold on, what's the... Oh, the Faraday came back, that's right. Head to Valiant 71. God damn it, we can't spare this! Okay, uh... I need to temporarily... None. Transfer all the resources you can over to there. We're gonna lose this if we don't do something about it soon, but on the plus side... Oh, we're in extra hours! Send five crew from Sector 1 to Sector 2 who are workers. I forgot I actually stopped rebuilding these. I made some bad choices. You can turn off. Alright, you're building that. That'll take one turn. I hope we can get enough to build this quickly. Population transfer complete. You're still in extra hours, but it helps a bit. A side ship has arrived at its destination. Okay. You're gaining An there. Accident has occurred in the tycoon. You can't do anything. An accident occurred. Of course it did. All right, what do we have here? The planet Valiant is a dead and devoid of activity of any kind. However, our scans have located the remains of a ship in orbit of the planet. The wreck of the UN warship Huizinga orbits Valiant 71. In a twist of fate, it seems that after hunting down Dolo's survivors, it fell to something even more dangerous than life itself. We have a visual on a cluster of UN emergency cry cryopods drifting towards Valiant 71. If we don't intervene, they'll enter the planet's atmosphere and be incinerated. We cannot forgive the actions that Huizinga took against Dolos, and we will not attempt to recover its cryopods. Instead, we'll focus on stripping the wreck of any salvageable materials. We can then recover the closest, or all, of the cryopods, or analyze it. <sighs> Dangerous. Recover the closest cryopods. Covered all science from DeVille 59. And you can't do anything else. Alright, fails, head back here. Probe! I keep forgetting about probes! Oh, there's something up there. Alright, fails. Actually, you can stay here for now. You're gonna go over there eventually. We're at least dealing with food a bit better. Alright, stop making more people. We are going to fail this. Because we couldn't get the resources to build it. Trust in the administration has decreased by 15 due to the following broken commitment. Crap! Well, we're gonna get it built anyway. There, it's built. A science ship team has completed a task. Okay. Let's read this. As the Faraday was retrieving the cryopods, a volley of telluric bodies that were orbiting Valiant 71 hit the science ship. Fortunately, no damage was done. The cryopods have been prepared for extraction. Okay. Gather up the remaining science. And with that, I have to end this episode here, because it's gone on long enough. Okay! Things are a lot more tense than I expected, and it's not really the best. Okay. Next episode, we're going to get back to trying to get all this handled. And I'm going to see if I can find a way to unlock Sector 3. It's going to take time, but if I can unlock Sector 3, excuse me, then I'll be able to get access to more. I'll try and make a dedicated food sector. 
with a dedicated food sector, we'll be able to satisfy that issue. But I think I'm going to need to work on making another steel mill here. With another food sector, I'll be able to deal with this. So, that I'll deal with in the next episode, because this one's gone on long enough. Till then, I'm Chester44, also known as Fly. This has been a Let's Play of Ixion, and I shall see you all next time. <laughs>